Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and make sure that everything is working correctly with our cookies and uh, make sure that our remember me functionality is working and then we're going to auto log the user in if they have that uh, login cookie on their browser. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let's just really quick test this. And I'm going to click Remember Me this time and click Login. And if I go down to my cookies, um, you can see my session, my PHP session ID is there, but I don't have another cookie. So something's wrong with our code. And this is awesome for us to go back and see what's wrong. So the cookie's not being set. So the first place I'm going to check is um, I want to look at our um, actual login method. And this is where the cookie is supposed to be set. So I'm just going to look through this and see how I uh, make sure everything's set up correctly. And I have an error here. And the error is if I look at my config.php, the cookie expiry is called remember me cookie expiry. However, in the user table, I just put remember cookie expiry. So the reason that the cookie is not being set is because I have my uh, I have an incorrect. I had an incorrect value here, so you may have that as well. So go ahead and double check that and fix that if if you if that's the case in your code. But now let's go ahead and let's log out and log back in. And I'm going to go ahead and. All right, so now if I go down and click on this, okay, great. I have my session ID, which is the cookie for my session. But now I have this new session, and this value right here should match the value in our config file. So the J uh, A J E I. So look back at that J A J E I. Yep. Make sure you use something different from mine. Um, just make up a bunch of random strings, but don't make it any special characters, anything that wouldn't work there. Um, we could also see our expire. It ex Let's see how long. It should be 30 days. Yes, yeah, so it's going to expire on 11.26. Uh, so that's not quite 30 days from now. So let's see. Let's fix that. Well, it, it doesn't matter. Um, probably just have some math wrong there. So let's let's see what that would be. Let's just Google it. How many seconds in a in thirty days? Okay. So yeah. So I'm gonna grab that. And we'll go back to our code now and just pop that in there. And let's go ahead now and log out. Yep. So that should, if I refresh that, that did not kill our cookie though. So we're going to look into that. Oh, I had to remember. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. So let's look at that code real quick. Fixing some bugs, that's okay. Um, so we had this log out. So if remember me cookie name. Let's see if our current users are working correctly. That's it. All right, so users, our current user method is not working. So let's look at that. Um, that was in our helpers. We 
return users current logged in user. Uh, I have an uppercase U there. So I suspect now that um, this this is gonna work. Yeah, so there's my user. So now if I get rid of that, um, get rid of this, I should hit the log out. All right. So now we have our cookie name being printed. So let's go there. Log out. Um, we have a dump and die cookie there. Go ahead and try this again. Log in. Log out. Good. So our logout function was working correctly. It was our current user. I had a I had a typo there. So sorry that took so long to figure out. But let's just continue to move on here. Um, so now. What we want to do is we know there's a cookie being set when we log in with our remember me. But we want the user to be able to log in uh, without logging in if there's a cookie. So uh, an actual remember me. So let's go ahead and look at that functionality. And um, okay, so we're going to create a method in our user's model. Let me close some of these files we're not going to need. And what I want to do is I want to have this called early in the application, right? So in our index.php file, what I want to do is I'm going to add uh, right here above the route before it does the routing. I'm going to go ahead and um, check if there's a user session. If there's not a user session, then we're going to go ahead and do a login user from cookie. Um, so let's add an if statement here. I'm going to say if not session exists, and that is going to be current user session name. So if that, then what I want to do, um, we'll say if that doesn't exist, but uh, there and the cookie exists so this is the remember me cookie name so if both of those are true if there is a cookie and there's and they're not already logged in then what we're going to do is go ahead and use our new method that we have to create called login user from cookie okay that's it. Um, that's all we're gonna have to do in our index file. I'm gonna keep that open for now. Make sure to make any mistakes. But in our users model, we're gonna create a brand new method there, and it's gonna be a public static method. So right here, maybe maybe we'll do this under our other login. So we'll say public static function login user from cookie. All right, and so here we go. Um, we're going to say user session model equals new user sessions. All right, and then what we're gonna do is um, we're going to see if there's a, a, a user session. So what we'll do is say user session um, is equal to user session model find first. Okay, and what we're looking for in our conditions is that the user agent is equal to and our session is equal to okay 
So then what we'll do is bind those values. So the first value is going to be session u agent no version. All right. And then the second value is the cookie get and then uh, remember whoa getting crazy here remember me cookie name so that's we're gonna bind that and then that will grab our user our um, user session so then what we want to do is we want to check to make sure that we have a user ID um, so first thing I want to do is if user session user ID does not equal a blank string then we're going to say our user model say new self and then we'll say our user is going to be equal to hmm. you know we could do we could just I was going to do this a little bit different but we could just say user self and then we're going to pass in user session user ID and I guess we'll just verify that that's an end okay so we'll have a user and then what we're going to do is we're going to say user login which we already have that method built so the user will log in And then I guess the other thing that we'll want to do here is um, we'll just return the um, current logged in user. Because this login method here, when we run that, um, let's see, it doesn't set that. Probably a good idea if our login, both of our login methods went ahead and set that up. Well, we can just do it here. So we'll say, um, no, I better not. We'll just return user for now. It, wasn't, it won't even really matter. Okay. So now, what we can do is, um, if that cookie exists, it should go through here and set the user up. So let's go ahead and just check everything. First thing I need to do is log in with my remember me setup. So if that works correctly, in the user sessions table, um, I got a user agent, I got my user ID, and I have my session. So now what I want to do is let's go ahead and I'm going to just um, exit out of Chrome completely. And then I'm going to fire it back up. And if I visit, this should log me in. Okay, so it didn't, but we got some useful information. So our user sessions not found. Okay, so let's make sure we have that model. Um, so that's the problem. I haven't actually built that model yet. Um, so just real quick, let's go ahead and in our models, let's create that. This won't take very long. So user sessions. All right, and we'll open our PHP tag. Remember, we're not going to close our PHP tag, but let's declare the class. User sessions. And this will extend our model. 
class. All right, and then we'll set that up. Public function construct. And our table is called uh, user underscore sessions. That's our table in our database. And then we'll just construct the parent. Parent construct table. That should be all we need at the moment. Um, spelled construct all right so there we are so let's check now if we are logged in if it logged us in that will be cool so we'll go to application we have a session ID and we have this so let's go ahead now and just in our home page right here I'm just gonna dump and die uh, our session and let's just see if our session name's there. Yep, this is, if you look in our config file, this will match our username. So that did log us in. Um, so that's working correctly. So I get rid of that. Go back to the home page now. So um, that seems to be working well. Let me see how much time we've been recording here. Go ahead and stop the video now. I think in the next video we're going to make a really quick video just to refactor some of this messiness um, in our code before we move on to our registration. All right, I'll see you in the next video.